The North Dakota Fighting Hawks improved to 6-5 and five on the season following a victory over Mayville State in its final home game of the season before Christmas. Along with Val Sussex, Kyle Doporalski with you. Val, we expected a lot of offense tonight, and that's exactly what we had. Yeah, it was a fantastic game, shooting from the outside from both teams. You know, it was fun to watch North Dakota get in a rhythm scoring and just knock down some shots, and it's the usual suspects for North Dakota that are playing really good basketball right now. Let's take a look at the highlights going all the way back to the first possession of the ball game. Yeah, Philip Rebracha really got UND started going early on the block. Here's two of his first half 10. He finished with 15 total for North Dakota and was as solid as ever. Cortez Seals, man, he's a senior and he's playing like it. You see two there of his game high 22. Just does a little bit of everything for North Dakota. Jack Turnball hits his only three of the bucket there in the first half to keep uh, Mayville State close. And then it was all kind of George Allhog from there for Mayville State. He finished with um, 19 points and, and seven assists. Billy Brown was five of 10 from the field for North Dakota, 14 points and four rebounds for Brown. Creighton Fowl, a nice game for the Comets, nine points, six rebounds. Rebracha, second double-double of the season for North Dakota. And then to close the first half on it, Moody drills the three. Moody was two of three from three as North Dakota led it by 11 at the half. It was really important in the second half to see Connor Avans get, get established. Didn't score a field goal in the first half. He finished the game three of five for six points. We saw a little bit from Mike Slava there in the second half. There was two of his four. And then Max Cooper, number 42 for Mayville State, has a nifty spin move on the block. Uh, Hard-nosed kid there, eight points for him. And then Cortez Seals really was kind of the answer for North Dakota the whole game. North Dakota stretched it out over the final few minutes. More Billy Brown for North Dakota, the junior. An excellent ball game starting again this time for North Dakota, his 11th start of the season. Every game, Michael Slava for Mayville State. Trying to keep the Comets in it, but more Billy Brown. Brown finished three of four from beyond the arc at North Dakota Cruises to victory, a 17-point win over Mayville State. Yeah, North Dakota just did a really nice job with their slot shot selection. I know I preach on that a lot, but taking good shots is kind of the key to victory here. And, and Mayville State played pretty good defense, but you can't overcome some of the size that North Dakota has. So North Dakota's good shot selection, knocking down the shots that matter, and, and then creating offense from defense with the, turn, the number of turnovers and, and the block shots. It was just a fun, fun game if you're a North Dakota basketball fan. So the Fighting Hawks get to six and five on the season. Let's take a look at the road ahead. Next couple of games, Val. Road games for North Dakota at Traditional Powers, at Marquette, number 21 in the country, and then at Northern Iowa. Two tough road games for Brian Jones right before Christmas. Yeah, I think it's it's nice. Finals are done. You know, this is right, but these game, games are sandwiched between Christmas break for the guys, and they need to take care of business. Mar Marquette is going to be no joke for them. Cortez, Seals, Connor Evans, they need to be firing. They need the shooting skills of Anand Moody and Billy Brown. Uh, it's definitely a team game, and they're going to have to come together as a team to compete against Marquette.